Hi everybody, um, we're here with Hayley. Um, the time has just gone to a plot. We're a little bit late. We were just having a good chat before and, um, and um, we are going to be doing a cardiac rehab session again with the unbelievably talented and marvellous uh, University Hospital North Midlands cardiac rehab team who base themselves out of the Royal Stoke, but also uh, other hospitals within Trust. Um, and uh, Hayley's going to take you through a 45 minute session of uh, cardiac rehab and helping you get him moving. So I'm just going to hand over to Hayley because I talk too much and I sound like Piers Morgan half the time. So anyway, take care. Bye. Okay. Thank you, Nick. Um, so I'm back again. Thank you if you have joined me again from previous sessions or if you're a newbie. Um, hopefully you'll get something out of to our 45 minute session today. Um, so I'm an exercise physiology. Uh, and I'm going to take it, be taking the session today. Today is predominantly going to be focused on strength building and building your muscle mass and also um, muscular capabilities through more of a functional or strength-based session. Um, today is going to be focusing on what I would call combined movement. So it's going to be an all-over body approach for pretty much every exercise that we do. Um, and I'm going to provide um, multiple different levels. So um, some will have uh, an easier and a harder and some will have one that's in the middle. So depending on your ability, or what you feel capable of doing. Hopefully I've provided options for everybody. So the kit that I've got today is my good old trusted rucksack with some boots or tinder beans or whatever you can get your hands on just to add a bit of weight to the bag for the exercise. Um, I've also got a couple of tinder beans or if you've got dumbbells or weights or bottles of water, that's absolutely fine as well. Um, and I've also got a new piece of equipment today, which is a empty milk carton um, filled with water. Um, I Googled it and if you've got one of those to hand, it weighs normally about just over two kilos. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate some exercises with these pieces of kit, but if you don't have them, um, body weight or just using your hands will be fine as well. Um, before we start, I also just want to make sure that, um, particularly during current circumstances, that people are uh, making sure that if they have any changes in symptoms, so any increased shortness of breath, um, any swelling in the ankles more than normal, uh, or increased fatigue more than normal, that they're making sure that they're speaking to their cardiac rehab team or their GP or cardiac nurse. Um, particularly if you've had any changes in symptoms before you've spoken to anybody, I would advise you not to do this class today necessarily, um, and just make sure you get those changes in symptoms checked out. Um, as always, it's just about being safe um, when we do the exercise session. So make sure that your area is clutter free. I know that the weather is not great, but maybe just open a window just so you've got a little bit of a, a draft of fresh air coming through. And um, also, if you have a GTN spray or an inhaler to hand, make sure that you've got that with you when you're doing your exercise as well. So we're going to start with um, a little bit of a warm up, probably a last for about 10 minutes. We'll then go into six different uh, combined movements and we're going to be doing two sets of 12 of each of those movements. Um, compared to some of the other sessions that we put on or some of the other exercises um, that you might have seen, these aren't necessarily designed to get you out of breath and really hot and sweaty. We're looking at working the individual muscle groups around the body, making them more efficient, developing the muscle mass, and that in turn will help with your general fitness and also your heart condition as well. Okay. So hopefully uh, we'll get you started um, and you'll enjoy the session. So we're going to start with a warm up now. Okay. Oh, put the sound back on. So this can be done either seated or standing, whatever um, you feel. But we're just going to start off nice and steady with a gentle march. So we're going to do a minute of each of these exercises. This is just designed to get the blood flowing Gradually increase your heart rate, make your breathing rate a little bit heavier as well, and make sure the blood is flowing to the appropriate muscle groups. Okay, so we're going to do about a minute of just this marching on the spot. Nice and steady, not too quick, not too strenuous, just to start with. Again, you can do the standing up if you feel that sitting might be a little bit too of a lower intensity for you today. So I'm keeping that marching on the spot. Well done. About 10 more seconds of this, and then we're going to go into a toe tap. 
and we'll alternate the legs on that. So two more seconds and toe tap. So just tapping your toe forward and backwards. So these different exercises that we're going through throughout this warm up are all going to be targeting different muscle groups, different joints. So we want to increase the, um, the fluid around the joint that makes it more supple. That happens when you warm up and get your body ready for exercise. So we're just tapping that toe, nice and steady in front of us, onto the floor. Well done. We'll keep this going. Whatever pace suits you, really. Nice and slow, nice and steady. You don't want it too quick. This is your warm up. So we're trying to gradually build the intensity with this. And about 10 more seconds of this exercise, and then we're going to go into a side tap. So you can pop your feet out to a side to whatever range of motion feels comfortable for you. Ready? And side tap. So out to the side, back to the middle. Alternating those feet. Back to the middle. Again, you can do this standing up or sitting down. Right up. This is targeting the hip joints in particular and some other surrounding muscles as well. Getting that nice and warm. Right up. Keep it going. Nice and steady. Shouldn't feel like you're doing too much just yet. For about another 15 seconds of this exercise, keeping those side taps going. And once we've done that, we're going to go on to high knees. So we're going to be lifting our knees up to a comfortable position. Are you ready? Alternating legs, off you go. So high knee, just lifting that knee back up, back down. Whatever pace suits you, we can turn that round again just as you can see it. So just hand the nice steady movement. I'm going to be doing this for one minute. This starts working the hip flexors at the front. So picking that leg up, engaging the core, getting some of those leg muscles and the surrounding joints nice and warm. Well done. Still about another 20 seconds for this exercise. Just nice steady pace, getting that blood pumping around the muscles a little bit. Not going too fast at the moment. Should that feel a little bit warmer, a little bit shorter breath because you are exercising, you're using the muscles, but should still be a nice steady pace. Well done. Okay, next one we're going to do, we're going to take your time with the leg extension, alternating legs. So you're swinging your foot back out, bringing it in. Swinging it out, back in. Doesn't have to be really hard, just a nice little kick out, back in. Take your time, nice and steady. Just getting those joints and muscles warmed up. Well done. I'm just going to go back to facing. Well done. Kicking it out. Should feel it in a little bit in the quadriceps, so the thigh muscles, but you're taking your time, nice and steady, getting those muscles ready for the workout that we're going to do. Well done. So, we've done a minute of each exercise, and five exercises. The next part of the warm up is going to be a little bit um, more vigorous, only a tiny little bit, by adding some arm movement to the exercises that we've already been doing. So, we're going to go back to that march. But as we're marching, we're going to start getting an arm swing in there as well. Getting those shoulders involved a bit more and getting the blood pumping around to the arm muscles as well, because they will be included in today's session. So we're getting the arm. Nice big swings. Take your time. Again, seated or standing, whatever you prefer. Good. Nice big march. Well done, we've got about 15 more seconds of this one. Getting those arms moving, marching on the spot. Getting that blood pumping around the body, to the muscles. 
So the next exercise we're going to do, we're going to do the toe tap together and we're going to add a sun blaze in as well. So we're going to toe tap, back in, toe tap, back in, whatever pace suits you. If you want to do it slightly quicker than I am, that's fine as well. But just about getting the body warmed up. If you need to give your arms a little bit of a rest, that's okay. Carry on and then add them back in when you're ready. Take your time. Add them. Brilliant. Should be feeling your arm getting a little bit warmer now. Have another rest if you need to. You don't always have to add the arms in. We're just trying to get that blood circulating a little bit more. Well done. About five more seconds of this. And we're going to go into a side tap with a reach. So you're going to side tap, reach out the opposite way in front of you. Back to the middle. Out, back to the middle. Out, back to the middle. Just go to whatever range of motion is comfortable for you. Again, can do this standing or seated. If you've got a bottle of water, make sure you take a nice little regular sip to stay hydrated throughout the session. Brilliant. Again, take those arms out if you feel that it's getting a little bit tiring. And then just add them back in again when you're ready. Just getting the body nice and warm. Heart rate should be increased a little bit. Breathing rate should be a little bit more laboured. Should still be able to talk to the person next to you though, if there's somebody there. Well, okay, then we're going to go back to high knee, but we're going to have a bicep curl. So you're going to bend your elbows and bring your hands up to your shoulders. So up, back down. Alternating the legs using both arms. Keeping that posture nice and upright. Again, whatever pace suits you. You don't have to be super quick. You can relax the arms for a little bit if you want to. And then add them back in when you're ready. Well done. Keep that going, we've got about another 20 seconds of this exercise. Again, if you want to progress it to standing up, you can. Getting that body ready for some specific movement that we're going to do throughout the session. Well done. Okay, and then we're going to go back to leg extension. So you're going to just be swinging the leg out nice and gently back in, swinging it out, add a chest press if you want to. Push out, pull back in. Push out, pull back in. Getting that upper body moving as well. Back in. You should notice that you're getting a little bit laboured with the breathing. You should feel a little bit warmer. This is all perfectly normal. Again, if your arms need a break, give them a little bit of a break. And when you're ready, introduce them back in. Out, back in, out, back in. Well done. Okay, really well done guys. So this is gonna be the last movement of the warm up. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about what we're gonna do. Couple more repetitions, out, back in, last one, and relax. So get that sip of water if you've got it to hand, close to you. Um, so what we're going to do is move on to the main content of the session. So today this is going to be more strength and functional based movement. Um, and each section that we're going to work on will have two combined movements into one. I will demonstrate all of the different movements to you and the levels. So hopefully you'll be able to pick one that suits your ability at the moment. Um, but like I said before, it's not about getting really hot and sweaty, really short of breath. It's more about feeling the fatigue, um, sometimes a little bit of a, an aching sensation in the muscles that you're working that's absolutely fine as I've said 
our previous session with this type of exercise because we're going to be doing two sets of 12 repetitions. You should be feeling an ache or fatigue um, sensation in the muscle towards the last three repetitions. So when you get to rep 9, 10, 11, it should feel a little bit of a struggle. That's okay. That's what we're after. If you can do 12 repetitions with no problem whatsoever, I want you to have confidence in yourself that you should be able to add a little bit more weight. Okay. Um, I'm going to start the session now. We'll do two sets between the first and second set of the exercise. We're going to have approximately one minute's rest. Okay, so we can go through the session together. Uh, like I say, different variations, an easy, moderate and high intensity version of each exercise. You just grab and pick whatever you feel is going to be most suitable for you today. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by working um, a leg extension or a sit to stand or a squat. And we're going to be combining that with a chest press. So. We're going to be working the leg muscles and also the pectoral or the chest muscle up top here. So if you're going to pick the, the, the easier intensity, depending on what your ability will allow you to do. So you're going to do a leg extension back in, press and back. Leg extension back in, chest press and back. So leg extension, chest press. Okay. The next version up from that, the moderate intensity version, would be a sit to stand. You're going to stand up, chest press, sit back down. Stand up, chest press, sit back down. And that would class as one repetition. I'm going to count you through your reps today, um, but I also want you to count along because what we don't want is any breath holding throughout these uh, exercises. So if you count your reps out loud as you're doing them along with me, then that will make sure that it regulates your breathing, okay? The harder intensity of this exercise would be a squat and a chest press. So feet just a little bit wider than shoulder width. You probably want your toes pointing out a little bit. Nice, straight chest, upright torso. Holding the, the tins of beans that I've got, or lentils in my case, nice and close to your chest. So you're going to do a squat, up, press, back. Squat, up, press, back. Okay, so we're going to get started with that. Like I say, 12 repetitions of whatever variant of exercise you've chosen to do. The leg exercise, then the chest press, that counts as one rep. I'll count it with you. Are you ready to go? And um, five seconds, three, two, one, off you go. Stand up, chest press, one, two. Then you might start feeling it in your quadriceps a little bit now. Eight, perfectly normal. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. One more. Twelve. Okay, so my heart rate definitely went up then. I can feel I'm getting a little bit more short of breath. Absolutely fine, perfectly normal. Have a sip of water, just start getting a little bit recovered after that set that we've just completed. We're going into a minute's rep, you've got about 45 seconds left, so just regulate that breathing. You might have felt a little bit of an ache in the thigh muscles then, but maybe in the shoulders and across the chest. Absolutely where we want to be able to feel that you're working those muscles, okay? So, sip of water. Get your breathing nice and regulated. We've got about another 15 seconds. And then I'm going to go again. The sit to stand, always get your breath a little bit more laboured, which is okay. So you just do this at whatever pace suits you. Hopefully I'm going at a pace that's suitable for most people across the board. Um, but if you need to cut the reps down a little bit because it's a little bit too much, or you can just go back down to leg extension if you would like to. Leg extension and chest press. Okay. So we're going to get ready for set two, 12 repetitions, three, two, one, off you go. One, keeping those feet shoulder width apart, pressing out at chest tight, two, three, 
four, five, readjust your feet if you need to, six, so that you're in a comfortable position, seven, eight, again a little bit tougher now, it's for me, nine, three more, come on, big push, ten, getting you a little bit out of breath, that's okay, big push, 11, one more repetition, up we go, press out and in, and relax. Okay, so we're going to have a minute's rest. I'm going to move on to the next exercise. Might be a bit short of breath, that's okay, because you've got the blood pumping around the body. Compared to the other sessions I've done, we've got two sets of muscle groups working, so your heart is being demanded on a little bit more. Okay, sips of water. Get that breathing nice and regulated. I hope you're counting your repetitions as you're doing the exercise and not holding your breath. Okay, so the next exercise that I'm going to do is a side step. It's working the hips around this area, the ab and adductor movement, which is an out and in type movement. So, the low intensity level, we're going to do a side step. So, we're going to grab our tinder bean if you want to. You can also do this with no weight, so if you just want to move into the leg and the arm at body weight, that's absolutely fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a side step, so step out, back in, and then you probably only need one, with one arm, bicep curl. So out, in, bicep curl. Out, in, bicep curl. We're going to do six on one side, six on the other. The same applies if you're standing up. So, you're going to hold onto the back of your chair for balance, okay? Hands in front of you. You're going to do out and in. So make a swing with your leg outwards. Make sure that your hip and your torso stay in an upright position. You don't want to be leaning over. You're trying to work the, the hip muscle here. You're going to go out, in, bicep, curl. Out, in, bicep, curl. Six on one side, six on the other. Okay, so pick the ability that you want to do today, and we're going to get started. So I'll do one set of the exercise sitting, one set standing, so hopefully there'll be a demonstration for everybody. So, are we ready? We're going to go in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. So out, in, bicep, curl, that's one. Out, in. Bicep curl, that's two. Three, we're going to do six on this side. Four. Five. Six, and swap it over. So, tinder beans on the other hand now. Out, in, bicep curl. Two, count the reps with me, make sure you're regulating that breathing. Three, out and in. Four. Out together, five, one more, six, well done. So a minute's rest just to get your breath back. If that was really easy for you to do, consider adding something with a little bit more weight. If you've got your milk carton, you can do your bicep curl with your milk carton if you want to, or go for the seated position if you feel comfortable to standing if you felt that a little bit too easy. So I'm gonna grab my lentils that I have here and get ready for the next seat which I'm going to demonstrate standing up. Okay, so I've got one hand on the chair, I'm going to stretch the, the leg out to the side without tipping over, bicep curl once it's come back in. Okay, so we're going to rest for about 10 more seconds and then we're going to get going. Count those reps with me, make sure you're having sips of water if you need to as well. Are we ready? Off we go. Out together, bicep curl. Out together, bicep curl. That's two. Out together, bicep curl. That's three. Make sure you've got a nice controlled movement when you lift your leg up. That's four. Out together, bicep curl. Five. Out together and six. Squat over, go to the other side. Out together. Bicep curl, that's one, two. You should be able to feel it in your hips a little bit. Make sure you're counting those reps out loud. Regulate that breathing. 
five, one more, and six. Brilliant. Okay. So, about a minute's rest, and we're going to go on to the next exercise. So, as I said before, this isn't necessarily all about getting really hot and sweaty and getting your heart rate racing. It's about targeting those different muscle groups around the body to increase the strength and the muscular endurance throughout your body, which in turn helps with when the heart tries to pump the blood around the body, it makes it more efficient. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is a new one. Not tried this before, so if you've got any feedback on this exercise, that'd be much appreciated. So I'm going to grab my milk carton here, and if you sat down for the low intensity, the milk carton is going to go on the floor in front of you. Like I say, to give you an idea, for one of these is about two kilos to give you an idea of what weight you'll be shifting. So. I'm going to do a version of a seated kettlebell swing almost, and then I'm going to demonstrate what it would look like when you're standing up. So you can pick whatever ability suits you. So you're going to come towards, not to the real end of your chair, but make sure you put away from the back left of the chair. You're going to keep your back and your torso nice and straight, nice and upright, and arms nice and straight. From here, you're going to pick your milk carton up. You can do this with tins of beans as well. Coming up, but the milk carton actually gives you a better swing or better movement pattern. So, fingers around the handle of the milk carton, keeping that back nice and straight. You're going to pick it up and force a swing up to shoulder height. So, your shoulders or your arms don't come past shoulder height. I'll demonstrate that again. Up, back down. Up, back down. Demonstrate that to the side. You can see another version. So between my legs, my back is nice and straight, I'm just swinging it up to shoulder height, popping it on the floor again. Swinging it up to shoulder height, back on the floor again. Up, back down. That's the, the low intensity version or the easier version. So you want to make it a little bit harder and do what's classed as a kettlebell swing or movement. Your feet are going to be slightly wider than shoulder width apart, keeping your back nice and straight again and holding two hands on the milk carton. Standing upright, you're going to do a very slight move, hinge, bend forward. Very slight movement, so you're not bending down like this. Very small movement, and you're using your hips to thrust the milk carton up to shoulder height. Bend and thrust. Bend and thrust. Back up. Okay? So, two sets of 12 repetitions. I'll do one set sitting, and then one set standing up. So, we're going to get started in five seconds. So, pick your weight, whatever you would like to do. If either of these are still too difficult, don't have any weight, just do a nice little sort of swing, back up, swing, back up, with nothing in your hand, you can body weight. Okay, 12 repetitions, count those reps with me. Are we ready? Three, two, one, off we go. So, pick up, swing, one, two. Swing it up, three, count those reps with me, four, five, six, well done, halfway through, seven, eight, I'm keeping that back nice and straight, nine, not tipping my head forward, ten, just shoulder height with the milk carton, eleven, one more repetition, 12 and relax. Well done. You found that too easy because it was a new exercise and you weren't sure what to do. You can always do the standing kettlebell swing with the milk carton if you want to on the next set. Okay. So, sips of water, as I always say. Hopefully, you might not necessarily feel that this is fatiguing you right now, but we're definitely waking the shoulder muscle. We're waking the back muscle with that slight lever forward and backwards, and we're also making sure that the hips are doing a little bit of work as well. So, we've got about 20 seconds before we're going to start the second set of these exercises for 12 repetitions. Have a sip of water, make sure you're staying hydrated. Um, and count your repetitions with me, trying to make sure you're keeping on good form and good posture as we go through the exercises. Going to demonstrate this at an angle so you can hopefully see the movement pattern of my body. So, nice and upright to start with, both hands on the milk carton, and you're going to swing between your legs and up to shoulder high. So, three, two, one, off we go. So, swing up to shoulder high, one. 
two, thrust those hips, three, thrust in the hips, four, five, six, seven, keeping that feet planted in the floor, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, well done. Well, like I say, that's a new exercise. A couple of movements into one, so there's a leg movement there and an arm swing. So if that was new to you, um, hopefully you'll be able to come back to the video once it's saved and have a look through these exercises again. But that's a really good all over body movement for you to try. Quite safe with pacemaking and things like that because it doesn't come above shoulder height. As long as you're using a weight that's suitable for you. So small little rest now. We're going to then going to go on to our fourth exercise, which is going to be working the hamstring and also the traps up here. So we're going to be doing a deadlift or a kickback, which is a hamstring movement with an upright row. So I'm going to demonstrate those different exercises to you. I'm grabbing my tins of beans for this one. So for the first thing, you're going to do a leg kickback. So you're basically going to slide your foot out and then slide it back in upright row, then swap it over, slide your leg under the chair, upright row. So hands are together and your elbows are coming up just above your shoulders, a bit like chicken wings, keeping your torso and your chest nice and up. So kick back, up, kick back, up, slide your foot along the floor. That's going to be the, the easier version. If you want to go on to a moderate intensity version, we're going to do a kick back. So, Use the chair if you want to, so holding on. Ideally, the weights are going to be in your hand, but you're going to do a kick back, upright red. So let's demonstrate that from the front. So kick back, so imagine you're trying to get your heel onto your bottom. You shouldn't have to reach it, but just going in the right direction, upright row. Upright row. And you're just going to alternate until you've done 12 repetitions. Then the first two versions of that exercise. And if you want to make it a little bit more harder for yourself, I've got my butt sack here with some boots in to add a little bit of weight. I'll demonstrate just from a side angle here. Feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Now straight back again. So you're going to have a very slight bend in the knees. The butt sack is going to be in between your feet, hopefully with a handle or something that you can grab. You're going to keep that back. Nice and straight, head and chest up right. You're going to lean down, pick the bag up, stand up, upright low, back down, back onto the floor, stand up, upright low, keeping those elbows nice and high. Okay, and that's the higher intensity version of that exercise. So I'll do one set using the kit backs, probably, and one set using the rucksack with the deadlifts. So you pick. Whatever exercise you feel is going to be most appropriate for you today. Okay. You can use this with any weight you have in the house. Use it with a milk carton. If you're using um, tinder bean, just make sure for the deadlift you do a lean forward, back up. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to start with a kit back. We're going to do 12 repetitions. Count your reps with me. Nice controlled form, good posture. Ready? Off we go. Kick back, upright row or deadlift, that's one, two, three, four, count the reps with me, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, brilliant. A little bit of a rest just to get the breath back and let the muscles recover a little bit. You should be feeling that in the hamstring, so the back of your leg and maybe a little bit in your shoulders and on the top of the back of your neck there as well. So we're gonna rest again for another 40 seconds. Like I say, you just need the muscle to have a little bit of time to recover from the exercise that you've just done. And we're gonna go into our second set of 12, okay? 
There is a reason why we're doing these sets of 12 and it's normally around two sets. So this is what the national recommendations are um, in order to produce muscular adaptation to an exercise. And this is why it's really important that you're not undershooting it or overshooting it. So if you are getting to rep five and it's too hard, go a bit easier. If you can do 12 repetitions really easy, you probably need to add a little bit of weight to get that adaptation. Okay, so gonna go in. So the last exercise with the deadlift and the upright though, using the rucksack. Okay, demonstrate this to the side so you've got an idea of what sort of movement pattern we're after. In three, two, one, off you go. So deadlift, now straight back, stand up, upright row. One, count the reps with me. Two, three, Four, five, six, keeping that back nice and straight, seven, head and chest upright, eight, nine, ten, two more repetitions, and twelve. Okay, and relax, well done guys. I know that this might be a lot of information to take in at once, lots of different exercises that we're including, but hopefully you can go back to this video and view it again, and all of these different exercises are available on there for you to try and implement into your exercise regime throughout the week. Okay, moving on, we're going to do a little bit of core work now. So there's two different versions of this exercise, or three if you include weight. Um, and we're basically going to do a side bend with a knee to elbow. Okay, so we're working this core region here. Lots of little muscles that help to keep your balance in your posture that you want to be working. So, what we're going to do, we're going to make a bit of a right angle here. And you're going to bend just to where comfortable, feel a slight stretch on the side, back up, knee to elbow, back to where we went. So you're going to bend up. Knee to elbow, bend up, knee to elbow. If that's too difficult, try it without any weight. You want to make it a little bit harder, we're going to move it to a standing or an upright position. So, one weight in the hand, right angle. You're going to do side bend, knee to elbow. Side bend, knee to elbow. So, you've got to make sure that you're, you're working on your balance and that you're confident that you're not going to triple over. Side bend. Knee to elbow. Six on one side, six on the other, two sets. I'll do uh, one set demonstrated sitting and one set standing up. Okay, so get yourselves ready, sip of water if you need to. Make sure you're counting your repetitions with me. So three, two, one, off we go. Side bend, knee to elbow, one. Side bend, knee to elbow, two. Three, four, five, six, and swap it over. Right angle with the other side. Side bend, knee to elbow. One, side bend, knee to elbow. Two, three, four, two more. Five, six, well done, and relax. You should have felt that. Up your side, you look a bit doing the side bend. And if you can chat in your muscles on the knee to elbow, you feel a little bit of a pinch or a crunch in your tummy area, which is absolutely normal. Okay? So, we've got about 40 seconds left before we go again. I'm going to demonstrate standing up, but you can do whatever suits you. So, you can do all of the exercise without any weight if you want to, okay? Sip of water. I'm definitely warm now, so making sure you've got that window open to let a little bit of a draft in. So, 10 more seconds, and then we're off with our second set of more of the core-based exercises today. So feet shoulder width as far if you're standing up to help with your balance, keeping that bend in the torso as you go down. Are we ready? Off we go. One, knee to elbow, two, knee to elbow, three, 
Doesn't matter if you didn't touch your elbow. Fine. One more. Six. Swap it over. So, side bend. Knee to elbow. Side bend. Knee to elbow. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six, well done. Might get you a little bit more short of breath, but we're working the upper body and the lower body at the same time there. But that should have been getting your core working around this area, so if you feel a little bit tender there, absolutely fine for now. Obviously, if there's any significant pain or discomfort through any of the movements that you're doing today, you just stop and join back in when you feel that the exercise is more appropriate for you. Okay. One more exercise to do, particularly challenging exercise now. So definitely hit this with a pinch of salt if it's too hard for you um, in this uh, exercise session. Make a mental note of it. And when you feel that you feel your legs stamped up a little bit, it's really good at working the muscles on each side of the leg independently. So very similar to the sit to stand that we did, but you call this split dance sit to stand. So to demonstrate that, you basically shuffle one foot slightly back one foot slightly forward, then you do a sit to stand motion. But you'll notice that more emphasis is placed on the leg or the muscle where your foot is further back, okay? So that means that this leg is becoming slightly more overloaded. If you have a go and you find that too difficult, just go back to your standard sit to stand for this exercise to finish up. I'm gonna add my weight, my tinder bean, or my tinder lentil, should I say. I'm gonna get into my split stance and I'm gonna do a sit to stand with a sideways. Sit back down. Up, sideways. If the sit to stand is too hard of an option altogether, leg raise, sideways. Leg raise, sideways. Okie dokie. We're going to do, if you're doing the split stance position, so one foot is forward and one foot is back, you do six on one leg, swap them over, sit on the other. Okay, last exercise, guys, and then we'll warm down. Are we ready? Off we go. So, up, sideways, one, control back down. Up, sideways, two, control back down. Three, adjust those feet if you want to. One should be a little bit further forward, one should be a little bit further back. Four. Only to shoulder height with the side raise. Five. And one more. Six. Swap your legs over. So, swap your, the position of your feet around. Six reps on the other leg. One. Give that head and chest nice and upright. Two. Three. Five, one more. Six, well done. So, one minute rest and we'll try it again. Like I say, you can either do this exercise with a normal sit to stand position, or if that's still too difficult, do the leg raises, side raise, leg raise, side raise. Do whatever ability suits you. But I'm also showing you the different intensities that we can work at so you know how you can maybe make goals for the future and how to progress your own exercise sessions. So about 30 seconds left onto the last step of that exercise and then we're going to cool down. I'm definitely getting warmer. I can feel my breathing's a little bit heavier but all of that is okay. Making sure you're having sips of water. Don't guzzle it. Nice little sips. Um, we'll do this last exercise and then we'll cool down and then we'll be done for the day. We'll be pleased, you know. So I'm going to go back to the split dance again just so people can see. So shuffle one foot slightly forward, one foot slightly back, and you're going to do your sit to stand. Okay, six on one leg, six on the other. Three, two, one, off you go. Head and chest upright. One, sit back down. Shuffle your feet and move yourself if you need to. Two, three, four, five, 
next time. I can say you just feel it working one leg, slightly more than the other. Sit, swap your stance around, shuffle the other foot forward, and six more reps. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Well done. So that's the main content we've done for today. And um, just a little bit with warning. When we do the split stuff, or if you target one arm then the other, or one leg then the other leg, you may find that one leg or one arm is stronger than the other. Perfectly normal, okay? So don't get disheartened by that. We're necessarily always think that something's wrong. It actually means that if you work the muscles independently, that will encourage the weaker muscle to do more, rather than your good leg compensating for your bad leg. So it's not always detrimental to work one muscle, or one leg, or one arm at a time. Okay, so we finished with the main content of the session and we're just going to cool now. So we're going to start with a nice steady march down the spot. Have some shoulder rolls in there. Regulate your breathing. So you should start warming down a bit now. So like I said in most of my other strength-based sessions that we've done with cardiac rehab, we have, on wellness Wednesdays, if you're a little bit sore over the next couple of days, shoulders forward, very normal, okay? If you found some of those exercises difficult to do, completely normal as well. If you're unsure about anything, then you can uh, come onto our UHM Cardiac Rehab Facebook page, uh, send a message on there, or we also have a YouTube channel if you want to watch some different types of exercises. Again, we've got lots of different types of videos, a range of various exercises that you can follow. Okay, I'm just going to feed the out in nice and steady. But I know that sometimes it's a lot of information at once, but the national recommendation for strength or functional based exercise is that you should be doing this sort of workout at least twice a week. Okay, so your cardiovascular workout, the stuff where your heart rate gets going a little bit more, very, very important. But alongside all of that sort of stuff, we also want to make sure that we're working isolated muscle groups to develop the strength and the muscle mass, which has significant benefit for your heart health, your overall body. It helps to prevent falls, it also helps with your bone health and lots of other things as well. Okay, so we're going to go up onto our tippy toes, back down. Up to the toes, back down. Nice regular breathing, just to get ourselves cooled down again. Nice little sips of water if you need to. Well done. And really well today, like I say, put some new exercises in that might be slightly challenging, but all of them are really functional exercises and are designed the exercise sessions that you've done today is to target most of the larger muscle groups in the body. If they get stronger, you'll reap the benefits. Okay, slight little march just to finish off. Get some mist rolls in there as well. Keep it going just for 20 more seconds. guys five more seconds and we're done well done to everybody that joined and followed today like i say hopefully you can tune into the videos again on pumping marvelous um or any of the other sites that you streamed on um and hopefully we'll see you again next wednesday thank you bye bye be much appreciated. Have a good day and have a good rest of the week. Look, we'll do. Bye bye. Bye. bye.